How's it going everybody? Welcome back to 2A News Now, where you get your news straightforward and to the point with no bullshit. Did ATF Director Stephen Dettelbach give pistol brace owners an out on registration? According to the new rules issued by the ATF, all owners of pistol stabilizing braces have to the end of the month to either register their brace equipped pistols as short bell rifles under the NFA or permanently remove, dispose, or alter the stabilizing brace such that it cannot be reattached. But Representative Thomas Massey said ATF Director Stephen Dettelbach may have given gun owners a way to keep a hold of their braces without registering their guns under the NFA. In a Twitter thread, Massey highlighted Dedebeck's recent testimony before a House committee on how the pistol brace rule will be enforced and how gun owners can comply. I'm going to play a one minute clip with a back and forth between Representative Massey and Director Dedebeck, and then I'll come back and talk to you some more. Okay, but people End of are. May, so we're, and it was 120 days, is that correct? People are only felons if they intentionally. Is it 120 violate, days? Uh, the law. Uh, I believe it's 120 days from the So we've got 36 days left of the 120-day grace period. Can you tell us here today how many people have complied by registering this product? Uh, I am not sure of the exact number. I can check, though, and get back to you. Uh, there are people who are making applications. There also can be detachment. So in other are words, we don't count. We don't, it, that's not for us to regulate. If somebody simply, we wrote the rule to make it easy to comply with. If somebody just at their home detaches the weapon from the brace and keeps them apart, uh, they do not have to register anything. They can keep the brace. They can keep the business end of the gun. Okay, that, that's a great clarification. So you're not going to do some kind of constructive uh, prosecution where you say, oh, you had this and you had that and you intended to connect they're keeping them. The, I mean, if they can just keep them separately. them as we as Keep we them separately. Them, but it's, okay, and, because and, and, that's and, not clear in your rules. Um, and, Did you hear what Dedeback said in Congress? If somebody just at their home detaches the weapon from the brace and keeps them apart, they don't have to register anything. They can keep the brace and keep the business end of the gun. That's straight from ATF Director Stephen Dedeback in his testimony before Congress. But also Dedeback's statement appears to be a direct conflict with the ATF's language. In the ATF rule, it says, permanently remove, dispose, or alter the stabilizing brace such that it cannot be reattached, thereby removing the weapon from regulation as a firearm under the NFA. Representative Massey said in his Twitter feed, I'll be sending ATF Director Dedebach a letter asking him to clarify whether the compliance option he suggested for pistol brace owners in his congressional testimony was accurate and complete. If he was wrong, he may have just put millions of gun owners in legal jeopardy. Maybe Dettelback doesn't have a clue what his own agency rule actually says, or he's interpreting the rule in a way that it would be beneficial to those current owners of pistol braces and would outrage gun control activists. A third possibility is Dettelback was trying to mollify members of Congress, like Massey, while the agency is still prepping to go after any gun owner who might remove their brace and believe they're in compliance with the new rule. We all hope this will be a mute point by the end of the month, and a federal judge will grant an injunction blocking enforcement of the stabilizing brace rule altogether. But if the rule is allowed to take effect, then Massey is right about Dedeback giving gun owners a new legal defense while still putting them at risk of arrest and prosecution. Since the cameras are no longer on him, Dettelbach's response to Massey will say something about having misspoke in his congressional testimony, and that yes, simply possessing a pistol brace that can be attached to a pistol will be a violation of the ATF rule and make gun owners open to federal felony charges and the possibility of a 10-year prison sentence. There are more than a half dozen lawsuits taking on the stabilizing brace rule pending around the country. And the broader issue is whether the ATF has the authority to designate brace pistols as SBRs or whether Congress is the appropriate body to reclassify and expand the arms covered by the NFA. Though there are several lawsuits that argue the ATF rule is also a violation of the Second Amendment and just not the Administrative Procedures Act. Dettelbach's comments during his congressional testimony could prove useful to plaintiffs in these cases, since there are indication that the rule is so vaguely written. Even the ATF's own director is unclear about how gun owners can comply, given that a violation of these rules could result in a decade behind bars. The rule of lenity should lead the courts to decide 
with the plaintiffs here, just as we saw with the fifth and sixth courts when it came to the ATF's ban on bump stocks. I have no idea what led Dettelbach to respond to Massey's questions the way that he did, but I do know his answer to Massey's questions aren't going to be helpful to the Biden administration's defense of its pistol brace rule in the weeks ahead of the May 31st registration deadline. As always, I would really like to hear your thoughts about the story in the comment section down below. And I really do appreciate everybody's support by liking, sharing, and subscribing and hitting those post notifications. You guys are really crushing it and I really do appreciate it. And I hope to see you guys in the next video.